Today you will learn about the differences between hub and spoke and point to point integrations. Subscribe now and let's go. Let's start with point to point integrations. For the sake of simplicity, imagine you have three different software systems which want to exchange data between each other. In a point to point integration, each individual point, in this case app or software, is connected to every other point it needs to share information with. Now you can imagine that there are enterprises with a bunch of systems. If we now want to add a new system, the number of connectors will increase significantly. This is because we need to connect a new system with all the other systems to achieve full data synchronicity. When it comes to data consistency, point-to-point -point synchronization brings some issues as well. Single systems or apps within our point-to-point -point network often conflict when it comes to data accuracy. There is no single point which could determine what kind of information is the most accurate. Furthermore, whenever we want to update one of our systems or apps, we also need to update or fix all of the connected integrations as well, to mitigate the risk of a connection fail. Last but not least, when it comes to security, the more system connections available, the more exposure we have to security breaches. Hub and spoke systems on the other hand, are laid out so that one central hub connects to all the spokes. If we now want to integrate new apps or systems, we won't need an extensive amount of connections between them, but simply connect them via the hub, which will save us a lot of integration effort. Within the hub and spoke model, all the apps and systems have the same source of truth, which is the hub. Thereby it's a lot easier to ensure data consistency across your company. If one of your apps or systems is upgraded to a new version, you don't need to worry about recoding all of the other connections. The system only needs to exchange data with the hub, which will then forward the data to the other systems. When we use the hub and spoke model, we can define permissions on data and people, rather than applications and systems, which will ensure more reliable and trustworthy data. Now you should have a pretty good idea about the differences between a hub and spoke and point-to-point -point integration. If you like this content, please subscribe to my channel to not miss any more videos. See you next week.